Createx contribution to this system is um, the navigation payload. So we have a set of sensors on the front which are based on LiDAR. Um, so basically that fires out thousands and thousands of laser beams every second and each one of them is trying to measure the environment to try and figure out where the, where the quad is. Um, so we have, we have two on the front and with those two lasers we're able to give the same pose estimates or estimate of where we are in the world that you would get from a, a system based on cameras, like, um, so having the infrastructure there. When people see the system operating, they see this 3D map being generated of the environment. So you, you, for the example, that the experiment that we did today, you see this plane being scanned and coming into view. And a lot of people see that and think, oh, he uses that to navigate. But in fact, that's a result of knowing where you are. So that's the key, is knowing where you are. Once you know where you are, you can hang up any sort of information you want from the pose of the quad. So say, for example, we go up, we fly, we generate that map of the, of the, of the 3D point cloud of the aeroplane, and then if we've got cameras on board, if we've got any other sensors, we know exactly where all that data was captured. So, for example, a flight engineer or, or an engineer looking at the plane, making sure that it's flight ready, can go up there and, and potentially see a model of the plane that we've scanned with the lasers, click on, click on the model, and then they see a high resolution image of that part of the plane. So it's, it's a really a way of tying all the different bits of data together um, through, through spatialness, through, through where they are in the world, effectively. When you have this system running, and the system knows where it is, and it knows things around it where they are, so it knows where it can and can't fly, so then if it has that knowledge, it can then go and control itself and move around. So say, for an example, um, experiment you could, or an example mode of flight would be the thing takes off and because it knows where it is it can hold itself in position the same way the, ex the, the drones that operate outside do with GPS it's, an exactly, the, it's exactly the same principle um, so an operator would then be able to see the output of the system they'd be able to see the position of the quad and they could potentially click to a location and the quad could then move to that location. So that's, that's what we're aiming for. That's, that's, the, that's the future, basically, of what, what this project will be able to achieve.